Hi everybody, this is Liz with 143 Handmade, and I am here today to do Junk Journal July, Day 24, very vintage, and it's hosted by Meg at Meg's Journals. So, let's just hop right in, shall we? Just need to find a page. Let's see. A little concerned that the page is kind of thin, so I'm going to flip to a little bit sturdier page. Here we go. This page, this spread already has a little bit of a vintage feel to it. It was when I started one on um, day six, layers and layers. And so we're just going to kind of continue that. I have some bits of linens here and some lace. Now this tablecloth belonged to my grandmother-in-law, Nami. She passed away just a few years ago. And I have been using pieces of this because it just, it, it was not in good enough shape to hold, uh, you know, to hang on to the whole thing. But definitely didn't want to just throw it out, you know. So let's see, I have these flowers, and I have this little bit of lace. Let's see, do I even want this bit of tablecloth? It seems kind of thick. And my journal's already puffing out quite a bit, and these flowers are going to puff it out quite a bit more. So let's see, I think what I want to do is put the lace down the edge. And then put the flowers in each corner. And then ar arrange the ladies in and amongst that. There we go. To trim it. it and stick it and smush it and all that stuff that we do, right? Now, of course, I could have opened these brads and, you know, because these are these both have brads in the center, so I could have poked through and had the brads be on the side instead of just gluing it down. I don't know. I didn't really consider that until I'd already stuck the glue down first, though, so. We're going with glue this time, but I did want to throw it out there as an option. Totally could use the reds. Okay, and then what if we just have this lovely lady have that here? Like so. And this other lovely lady there. And then I'm sure I'll find like another bit of lace or something to add to this bottom. Let's see. I love this piece. I don't know. I don't I don't love it. But I do really like this lady tucked in, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. Just want to say thank you so much for joining me today for Journal July, very vintage. This may not be the most very vintage page in the world, but I do hope to, you know, add to it a bit. This is just kind of a background. I don't know, I think I'm going to leave her floating. I'm just going to grab a paper clip and just tack her on here because... I need to find some more vintage bits, don't I? Because it just looks a little too plain, doesn't it? But that's okay, this is my journal. I can just do start on a, on a page and I don't have to completely finish it in one session. So um, thank you so much for joining me and I have journals for sale in my Etsy shop. I have um, it's, uh, journals for sale in my eBay shop. So go ahead and check those out if you're interested. And um, I have a new series that I'm going to start here on YouTube pretty soon. So be sure to check back for that. Threaded Thursdays where I do slow stitching and um, 
things like this. So thank you so much for joining me and I can't wait to see you again.